Hey everyone, welcome back to Airstream Expeditions. We're Julio and Erica. We're delighted to have you join us in part four of our California Coast Beach Camping Series. In previous episodes, we explored the Flying Flags Campground in beautiful Avila Beach, as well as the State Beach Campgrounds in both Carpinteria and El Capitan. Today, we stay in Santa Barbara County and we explore stunning Halama Beach, a hidden gem on California's coast. So stick around and join us for the next few days as we enjoy this beautiful and secluded campground. Just off Highway 1, hidden away at the end of a narrow winding road lies Halama Beach County Park. Getting here is half the fun. As you drive along the windy road, you'll be greeted by stunning coastal views. Halama Beach is a world apart from many Southern California beaches that stretch from Santa Barbara all the way down to San Diego. Probably best known for its signature Halama burgers, the Beachside Grill cranks out, this Santa Barbara County Park is a relatively undiscovered gem. The beach itself is wide and flat with scattered rocky sections, and it goes on for miles in either direction. The surf can be very rough here, and the wind can be very strong, but as conditions change, the population changes with them. There could be several kite surfers one day, and conventional surfers and kayakers another. The bird population is massive, and whales can be easily spotted near the end of Point Conception during the spring migration. Overall, this is a remarkably scenic and beautiful stretch of coastline that has a very isolated feel to it. Once you arrive, you check in at the entrance booth. We highly recommend reserving ahead of time, although the campground does reserve a handful of sites for walk-ins. So this is our campsite here at Halama Beach, site number 59. As you can see, it's pretty large. You got your standard uh, fire pit here and your uh, picnic table, but it's right on the sand. As you can see, we get limited sun in the winter time. So this is why I have that extra solar panel, even though we have solar on the um, on top of the Airstream. It helps keep those batteries topped off, especially with the limited amount of sun we get in the winter time. So that really uh, kicks in. These campsites are really nice right on the sand not many of these in california and that's halama beach here halama beach county park used to be owned by the richfield oil company otherwise known as arco and in 1943 they donated this whole parcel of land to the county of santa barbara the campground offers 107 campsites all overlooking the ocean or beachfront each site has a picnic table and a barbecue pit, and there are also centralized showers and restrooms, as well as potable water and a dishwashing station. 31 sites offer electrical hookups and a dump station is available as well. The campground also offers two group sites. We're here at Abalone Point, which is the group campsite here at uh, Halama Beach. And as you can see behind me, this is another site that's right on the sand, just a few feet away from the water. It's fantastic. It's huge, great for large parties who are tent camping. And as you can see behind me, again, right on the water, plenty of space for those large groups to camp out. Abalone Point. I just realized if you have an RV, 
there's an RV spot right next to the Abalone Point group area, which is over there. But if you're lucky enough to be able to reserve site 64, you park your RV here and then Abalone Point, I believe only accommodates tent campers, but you can occupy this whole end of the uh, camping loop here, which is fantastic. Campsites number 53 through 64 are some of the most popular as they are located right on the sand and just a few yards away from the ocean. We're here at the upper level at Halama Beach. Maybe a little windy here. She can uh, reserve campsites here. They seem to be full hookups. Pretty spacious, as you can see, right behind me, full hookups. They have concrete pads. Even though you are not on the sand or close to the water, there's an excellent view here. So right behind me, you see all the uh, cabins that are available here at Halama Beach. For those that don't like to camp out in tents or RVs, you have the uh, luxury of being able to rent one of these cabins here. They have, I believe, one bedroom, bathroom, and a kitchen, and a little living room. We've had some friends that have stayed in them before. They're a pretty nice option if maybe if it's windy and you don't want your tent to be blowing around everywhere. So these are the cabins here. I believe there's, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven total available cabins, which I am sure are pretty popular. So you have to get on it and book as soon as you can in advance to ensure that you can get one of these wonderful cabins. We all have the little parking area here, little picnic bench, and you're a little elevated, so you also get a very nice ocean view. This particular cabin is vacant right now, so I'm here on the porch looking inside, and yeah, it just seems to be uh, one bedroom in there with uh, a little kitchenette and a bathroom and a shower. So it's perfect for those that don't want to camp out. The next morning, after sipping on some coffee, we took a short walk around the campground and to the bluffs right above our campsite for a bird's eye view of the beach. We're right here on the bluff above Halama Beach County Park, which is down below. Uh, right behind that hill over there is Vandenberg Space Force Base, and that's where SpaceX will be launching their satellites later on today. For lunch, we walked over to the Halama Beach store, where they serve up the famous Halama burger. Outside of the store on the wall, they have a menu, as well as a tide chart for surfers and beachcombers to check out. The store itself has everything you can think of, from food and drinks, including alcohol, and it even sells camping and fishing equipment. If you forgot to bring it with you, they most likely have it here. The dining room is surrounded by three panoramic windows, which give you a nice view of the ocean. Owners Don and Linda Etrium have owned and operated the Halama Beach store for decades. The dining room has many old photos of the beach and the surrounding areas that are interesting to look at. There's a lot of history in the area. Just north of Halama Beach is Honda Point, a dangerous and rocky outcropping which is also known as the Graveyard of the Pacific. On September 8, 1923, seven naval destroyers ran aground here and 23 sailors died in the disaster. The Honda Point disaster was the largest peacetime loss of U.S. naval ships in U.S. history. So they finally called our number and our lunch was ready. The famous Halama burger was all it was cracked up to be and more. It was a delicious lunch and we can't wait to come back here again. So I'm here near the creek at Halama Beach and before the Spanish settled in 1542, 
This was a, uh, a town inhabited by the native Chumash Indians. The town had more than 150 people and they lived in the area. They were famous for making their weaved baskets. They actually used to trade due to the abundant resources both on land and in the ocean. They used to uh, forage for shells and clams and they used to trade that. That was their, their currency. And a lot of the native plants in the area they used for medicinal purposes. So Halama Beach was once a town inhabited many years ago by the native Chumash Indians. Here at the tide pools, it's a minus 1.4 low tide today. So getting a lot of exposure and just here uh, looking for some critters. I saw a abalone shell and also saw a sea anemone. So uh, see what else we can find. Thanks for watching part four of our California Coast Beach Camping Series. We really hope that you've enjoyed camping out with us at Halama Beach County Park. We really enjoyed the seclusion and peacefulness of this low key hidden gem of a park. If you enjoy our content, we would truly appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm spread the video out to other outdoor enthusiasts just like you and I. Please join us next time as my brothers and I travel to Baja, California and travel to the small fishing village of Bahia de Los Angeles where we'll try our luck fishing for some game fish and put some dinner on the table. We'll also enjoy the weather and spend some time at beautiful Playa La Gringa.